Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Singapore. It's pretty rainy today, so just had a quick workout in the apartment gym, and afterwards I just like to kind of sit out on the balcony a little bit. And before heading out, the second part on my daily routine, and a big shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. I've been taking this for I think over a year now, pretty much every single day. Um, try to get a workout in the morning, and then right afterwards on an empty stomach, a scoop of this or a travel pack of this, eight to 12 ounces of water. Put it in the travel bottle, shake it up, and drink. And one scoop or one travel pack of this gives me 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, which I need. It's just such a convenient way for me to stay healthy. When I used to travel, I would carry around, no joke, I think I showed you guys these bottles uh, in a previous video. I used to carry out over half a dozen bottles of vitamins. Ever since I realized I'm getting older, I gotta try to take care of myself. And they would just rattle around the suitcase. It's so many different types of vitamins. I have to mix and match every single day. Sometimes one bottle will run out before another, I gotta order it, and then I have to worry about the quality of the vitamins. It's just a mess. But this is simple, one scoop, one travel pack a day, that's it. Also, vitamins are really pricey. So this is not just convenient, it's a money saver as well. Your box will come with a pack, travel bottle, travel packs. Also, this vitamin D, I take this every single day. AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond the third-party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the best quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. I told you guys since I've been taking this, I have more energy. Got it from my parents, they feel better. They're continuing this every single day. Again, it's just so easy. One scoop, that's all it takes. So if you wanna give it a try, go to my link down below. You get a free bottle of vitamin D and five travel packs for free with your order. Oh, the rain is coming down now, really suddenly too. Luckily it's still early, so I can sit here and enjoy the rain. That's what I love to do every single day. And then we'll go get some fried chicken. I've been craving Korean barbecue lately, so this place, Korean kitchen has all you can eat Korean barbecue. So we're gonna start here, then we're gonna go get some Chinese roast fish, then we'll just see where the food day takes us. So this place, you come in um, and you mark on the menu what you want. You get 90 minutes to eat everything. Let's do pork belly, pork collar, marinated beef, spicy pork. Okay, here is the Korean fried chicken. Let's do spicy and soy sauce. Sides, kimchi, yes, uh, spinach, cucumber, mushroom, fish cake, garlic. Unlimited barley tea for one dollar. So, got some pork belly, some marinated beef, spicy pork. Dump the garlic on. All right, Korean fried chicken is here. I got two kinds, the soy, the soy sauce, and the spicy. This feels, oh, piping hot. This definitely just came from the fryer. This is not just good for all you can eat fried chicken buffet. This is really good Korean fried chicken in general. Mm. The meat is so juicy, outside skin, extremely crispy. Great soy flavor, adds a bit of sweetness. It's such a nice umami filled aftertaste. Mm. Oh, but that doesn't count as wasting food. That is very good. Next, the spicy version. This looks really saucy with a bunch of sesame on top. I'll tell you guys the truth. I came here more for the fried chicken buffet than the barbecue. I, I always crave Korean barbecue. I was really craving Korean fried chicken today. And I thought, this is Singapore, the land of buffets. So there has to be a place that has all you can eat Korean fried chicken. And I found them. And it came with a bonus Korean barbecue. Why not? This is delicious. The Korean fried chicken is definitely freshly made as you order it. The soy one is good. The spicy one is really good. The chicken is juicy, the flavor is fantastic, that crunch is amazing. Why are you ready for round two of the chicken?
get some pork belly, pork belly, spicy pork. Put it inside some lettuce. Add some kimchi. Fold it up. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Especially a nice bit of skin on that pork belly. Such a nice gelatinous flavor. Overall, I think the fried chicken is really good here. Barbecue meat is not the best I ever had, but pretty decent. The best thing about this place is the price. All I'm having today, right now, unlimited fried chicken, unlimited barbecue, 15 Singapore dollars. So about $10 for this all you can eat Korean buffet slash Korean fried chicken. That's not a bad deal. I think especially the pork belly. That's very nice. By the way, I learned this method from some guy eating a Peking duck. Lettuce to the mouth. It's just more efficient. We only got 90 minutes here. I make it count. My fifth and sixth piece of fried chicken. This makes me so happy. He did it with some grilled mushrooms. Oh. And pork. Reason 8,481 why I love Singapore. Whatever food I love, I can probably find a buffet for it. Actually, this is just one of two Korean fried chicken buffets I found here in Singapore. I'm not sure the other one is open or not. If it is, I'll go try it out and do a comparison. But for now, breakfast is almost done. Let's go to lunch. This is a ginormous mall. And what I love about Singapore, there's always these air conditioned giant structures where there's food, there's shopping, there's entertainment. And this place right now is one of the best roast fish in Singapore. So there is a, a lot of different fish to choose from. This looks amazing. So there's limbo fish, which I'm sure are very popular at parties. There's the Qingjiang fish, which kind of looks like a, looks like a, kind of looks like a catfish. Also sea bass. And it's really cool because it, it tells you whether it has a lot of bones, the tenderness of the flesh. So sea bass has a little bit of bones and it's a little fatty. The limbo fish, no bones. Go for that. Then you can choose um, from the different flavors. So there's fresh green peppers, Chongqing Dou Hua, so this is bean curd. There's one with 12 ingredients, Xiang Xiang, there's grilled fish with soy sauce, Chuan Xiang garlic, Xiang La, spicy, Ma La, nummy and spicy. Let's go for the uh, grilled fish with fresh green peppers. That seems to be the recommended item to get here. This fish place has a couple guarantees. So first of all, they guarantee that all the dishes will be on your table in 28 minutes. Two minutes faster than a the pizza. They've had over 100 million customers and there's over 200 locations of this place. It should be good. First dish has arrived. This is a dish I love and I have a recipe for this as well. I'll link it down below. Garlic chilies eggplant. I love this dish. It's actually so healthy for you and it's really easy to make, it's amazing. And this one, look at this, covered in garlic and chilies. I mean, it's like making me cough just like looking at it. So, so juicy. And this whole thing is roasted in the oven. Mm. I love this so much. This is like one of the few vegetarian dishes I will happily cook and eat without any meat. It's just so delicious. Eggplant is tender. It's so garlicky, like just a warning, do not talk to anybody after eating this dish. I mean, over the phone, yes, but definitely not face to face. Hmm, I think it needs more garlic. All right, the fish is coming. Oh, no, 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 she's bringing it to a different table. Oh, no, she's coming here. My heart just sunk for like a few seconds there. You know that anticipation when you see your dish, that sinking feeling when the dish is not hitting towards you? Here it is. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, thank you, thank you. Well, oh, that's so weird. Like, usually they put all the vegetables inside the broth with the fish. But I guess this one, they put it separately. I would have liked it inside the fish. So this is a giant limbo fish with tons of chilies and pepper. This is all peppercorn. Peppercorn on top. And then the ingredients you put in, 
separately. So kind of treating it like a fish hot pot. This is the first time I've ever done this. I, I, it's better when they put the ingredients in for you because then they add the appropriate amount of broth. It's not all fitting well. It's, this is the problem when you put it in yourself. Oil and I want the flavors to steep into all the ingredients. So I'm just gonna shove some of this stuff under the fish. Hopefully that does the trick. Yeah, this is really weird. I had to put all the ingredients on and I have to make sure it cooks before the fire goes out. So you, you can't just put a little ingredient in at a, at a time. You gotta make sure all the ingredients in there. This is kind of a weird thing they do. Okay, so now I'm gonna just wait for this whole thing to boil so the ingredients cook and then we can start eating. Okay, I think it's cooked enough. Let's eat. This may look really good. Do not put the fresh peppercorn in your mouth. This is a really good piece over here. So the fish is roasted. You can see the char. Whoa. That is so tender. Oh, wow. And the spice from the peppers penetrated through the fish. So you're getting a kind of a different spice than you would red chilies. So this is a green chili spice, which, which I think is stronger. Mm. As promised, no bones in the fish. I mean, no small bones in the fish. This special love was way sharper than a red chili. I feel like the red chili has more flavor. The green chili just got tons of power. It's got tons of power and heat. It's a little nummy, and this is just gonna get more and more nummy as it cooks. I'm gonna put some of the peppercorn in the broth, kind of simmer in the broth, but the fish is delicious. Try some of this broth. Ooh. That's good fish broth. It's only gonna get better after the vegetable cooks. Mm. This is pretty much just a fish hot pot. This is one of my favorite things. Konjac jelly, it basically tastes like a crunchy noodle. Zero calories. Mm. That's so good. Some of the best part of the fish is right here. Right here. The stomach. The stomach meat. Look at that. It's all fat and nice gelatinous flesh. That is probably my favorite part of a fish. I think the belly part, whether it's pork or beef, the belly part is just the best. Mm. Eat that with a slice of crunchy pepper. Also, right over here, you got the head of the fish. And right in here, the cheek meat. That right there. Mm. As tender as that fish is, that cheek meat's even more so. Roasted fish is one of my favorite things to eat. I just wish Singapore had a climate like Pacific Northwest or something nice and chilly. That's the only bad thing. Eating this, raising your body temperature, feeling like your, your, your stomach's on fire, and then walk outside in 90 degree heat. And the soup is tasting even better and better. I wish though, they had some dipping sauces because some of the vegetables, flavor doesn't steep into the vegetables as much the ones that I added. So I did ask for some soy sauce with chili inside and I'm dipping the vegetables and the tofu and the mushrooms in here to give it a little more flavor. The chili fish, I feel like it's definitely less oily than the mala version. So if you're looking for something, dare I say lighter, this will be the flavor to go with. All right, finish up and uh, the food day continues. I haven't really had chili crab or black pepper crab since coming to Singapore. Um, saw this place, was looking for this place called Uncle Long's Seafood. And really didn't think it was gonna be like in a little residential area like this, but there it is. So this place was, first of all, just a local coffee shop expanded to this full-blown restaurant and definitely here for the crab. And they have 16 different flavors of crab, shimmering sand, crab delight, clay pot crab, creamy butter, salted egg, chili, sunball, steamed curry, salt and pepper, dried chili crab, black pepper, white pepper, clay pot, tomato, black pepper, and bihon, and spring onion and ginger crab. I saw somewhere they had like an Oreo cheese crab. I guess that doesn't exist anymore. First crab is here. This is the simmering gold crab. I never had anything like this before. So here, it's some kind of butter, creamy butter sauce on the bottom. On top is flakes of oat and then curry leaves inside as well. One sniff. 
and immediately it just triggered a response in my mouth and my mouth just started watering. Of course, got some golden little munto on the side. Oh, the other crab is here. This one's a classic. Thank you so much. This is the black pepper crab. This is arguably my favorite crab in Singapore. Favorite flavor of crab in Singapore. Black garlic crab. God, I love this. All right, let me, let me just eat. And this one is covered in black pepper sauce, some onions, basil leaves. Every surface area is just smothered with it. First things first, flip this over. That's the best part right here. Grab a bunch of those innards, dip it in that creamy butter sauce. Get some of those flakes on here as well. Well, this is delicious. I'm really feeling a little emotional right now. This is so good. Wow. Well, it makes this really, really good. I didn't realize what's in here. There's white pepper in here. You get that beautiful creamy sauce from the butter. The oats gives you a nice textural crunch. Again, that awesome butter sauce is so rich and velvety and deep, but so flavorful. Then you get hit with that kick of pepper, just out of nowhere. Wow, I'm so glad I got a little manto. That's gonna be really, really needed for this. Here, first of all, grab a claw. Look how beautiful that is. This thing should be all cracked open already. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There's no way not to get a little messy when eating Singapore crab. Look at this. Giant, flaky piece of crab meat. Dunk it into that creamy, rich, oh, just look how beautiful that sauce is. A rich butter sauce. little sweet very creamy and without the pepper flavor I feel like it will be too sweet but with the pepper flavor kind of balancing everything out it's just perfect also really good to take one of these joints that's where a, that's where the really tender meat is on the crab dunk it into the sauce and just bite down the crab meat is so naturally sweet. And the sauce just highlights that natural sweet flavor so well. Wow, that's the last thing I gotta do. Take a little mando. Dunk it in. Mm. Lightly fried, subtly toasty on the outside. So much pillory fluff on the inside. All right, I gotta get to the black pepper crab. I like how the peppery flavor hits you maybe about 15 seconds after you take a bite of the crab. Again, the crab is perfect. Amazingly fresh, so sweet and succulent. And the black pepper sauce, a little sweet in the beginning, a little smoky, and then your tongue just feels like it's been slowly nibbled on by like maybe a thousand little ants. Yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite classic flavors because you get that beautiful, light, delicate meat of the crab with a very thick, fragrant, garlicky, peppery sauce. It creates like the perfect middle ground bite. That's also sweet, yet peppery. Very subtle, but also thick and aggressive and garlicky. I've had chili crab outside of Singapore because I miss it so much. Mm, ain't nothing like this. And I love trying out different um, chili crabs and black pepper crabs all around the island. Never been here before. I wish I, I was here when they had the Oreo cheese crab. The shimmering crab is a little sweet, so you get a sense of what this place can do with a sweet flavor. That's pretty awesome. I miss this so much. I seriously miss this so much. All right, need a little private time here. See you guys in a bit. Back at the apartment. I've been trying to do this for several days. Finally got my hands on haagen Mooncake. So Choco Moonlight, there's four pieces. One is Belgian chocolate, coated with mint chocolate, coated with sea salt caramel chocolate, Belgian chocolate and hazelnut ice cream coated with hazelnut chocolate, and dark chocolate ganache and almond ice cream coated with orange chocolate. That sounds like the best one. Ooh, I've never been so excited to eat mooncake before. Mooncake is, is delicious 
is also one of the worst things for you in the world. So that's why I think most people eat it probably once a year. All right, let's try this out. All the pieces look identical. So no idea what I'm digging into. It's hard. Oh, oh. So it's a chocolatey flower shaped thing on the top. That, that's kind of the toughest part of the shell. So this is the hazelnut ice cream with hazelnut chocolate. I mean, besides the fact that they're, they're round, there's really not much mooncakeness to this thing. It's essentially hazelnut chocolate ice cream with hazelnut pieces inside within a chocolatey shell. I'm just gonna get rid of the top thing. I'm gonna just start from the bottom. I think this is the dark chocolate with the almond ice cream and the orange chocolate coating. One last one. I have no idea what that is. There's four different chocolatey ones on here. One is supposed to be mint chocolate. I don't really taste the mint in any one of these things. I think I taste the sea salt caramel. Only thing I'm pretty sure about is the hazelnut and the almond ice cream. I mean, it's delicious, but I don't feel like the flavor is really distinct. After tasting these four mooncakes, my conclusion is that, well, they're not really mooncakes. They're four circular haagen ice creams that taste remarkably similar to each other. I can't tell the difference between the mint one with the salted caramel one. I got a 10% discount because I got it early, but if you bought this starting tomorrow, it will cost you 88 Singapore dollars. So about 60 bucks, 60 US dollars. This is not worth 88 Singapore dollars, it's not. Like somebody took a circle cookie cutter and, and just stamped it on the same, it's not even different, it's the same ice cream. It's the same ice cream. I don't taste a single difference between any of these things, except for there's some of them had different nuts inside. It's all Belgian chocolate ice cream. I was really excited to try this. I mean, I was thinking, yeah, some kind of ice cream mooncake, this is gonna be awesome. This is not awesome. I still like it because, you know, it's ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? But not for 88 Singapore dollars. Anyway, that's my review of the Hagen Dots Mooncake. Uh, as always, all places I went to list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.